morning guys doing a 20k walk today in training um so that'll be a pretty long one probably it'll take us around five hours ish as you can see i don't even started today and i'm already tired but yeah i'm gonna just chuck the legs on now so you guys can see them yeah these are my walking legs that's what i'm using so I chuck these on get my stuff together get gone head down to the coast and let's get 20k in the bag so obviously doing a challenge like this and sort of coming from where I've come and being able to walk 6k to walking up to 27 now and eventually doing a marathon, um, the motivation for something like this is, is pretty easy to find. Um, the hardest thing is the discipline, just to be disciplined with my training. So basically since the day after Boxing Day, um, for me it's been a case of just putting in the hours, again adapting the mentality so I can just keep going rather than how quick worry about how quick I'm doing things just make sure I keep going to, until I get to the finish line. So there's been challenges to overcome. We're, we're getting there. Uh, we're out this morning. It is zero degrees. Um, I'm just about to, I'm in a car park, just um, basically near the, the coast where we do our walk. So and um, we've done it mentally when it's been raining, cold, windy, snowing. We've had it all. Um, so yeah, the challenge is definitely on. It's one of the hardest things I've ever done, but I'm excited to see where we get to with it. 20k is the target. We've done just over four now. We're going for just under, just under an hour. Pretty wet, windy, and horrible today out here. One dragging me out of bed early in the morning to come and do this stuff. Right, guys. So the background there, that white building, mark the halfway point. It's bang on 10k, which is quite handy for us because we're doing 20k walk today. So. This is by far the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. So we're 12 and a half K in, just putting some of this on, because um, I've got a bit of a rubbing in my leg, just where the liner was cut. Like I said, just getting some red soreness here, just from that. So you just put a layer of that stuff on, that normally helps protect all the skin and stuff. Uh, yeah, so do that. We just, again, just stopping off for 20, 30 seconds to, well, maybe like a few minutes actually to just uh, reset everything. And then last seven and a half K, we're back at the, the perch now, which is where we normally, that's our seven and a half K marker. So seven and a half K to go. And then we are done. So far, so good. A few little stops for a few little bits. Like I said, to make a couple of adjustments to liners and stuff like that. Just where, you know, things aren't perfect at the minute, I'll get new liners new everything ready for the challenge so that I won't have any issues with legs getting loose and rubbing and anything like that um i was a little bit sore after the training i've had so far this week this morning in sort of my core particularly my obliques I've done a lot of rotational work for the kayak so i can definitely feel the difference from the training i'm doing it means that all the work we're putting in time the effort is paying off i'm feeling the difference for it we are back get in there 20k done sweet keeping focused go home now get a lot of energy a bit of food back in me and then hour and a half on a kayak tonight and that should be day done that was um that was a tough one because I said to you guys earlier about the, the leg and now we got obviously the the tape and stuff on here. Basically things weren't perfect today and I was a little bit worried before I started about how I was gonna get on. 20k, although it's not the furthest I've walked, I've the furthest I've done to this point is 27. Um 20k is still a long way to, to walk. I'm completely um like seized up almost my lower back already today was a bit sore to start so th there's some things i've got to be careful of and sort of manage over the next couple of weeks now um yeah things to do yeah uh, we'll get it done